The infant stages of, of starting the business, you know, to where we're at now. Um, as a matter of fact, we've had a, a phenomenal 2018. Um, you know, we, we literally had exponential growth going from one, um, you know, one desk in a tax office to two desks to, to, to three desks. Then, uh, you know, one of the things that, that, I've, that I've learned through time and through business is that I've noticed that, you know, every business goes through its up and its downs. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing specific that if you, that it's kind of like when you're in school, right? Um, a lot of the time, especially for you guys out there that are watching this video, that you are in school or maybe going through college or universities, um, you know, your professor basically sends you an outline and the outline is going to tell you, you know, you have certain exams, certain things that you have to go ahead and complete. Um, they'll give you a whole tutorial with regards to even when you first start school as to what's expected towards the end, or how, how, what you need to do in order for you to, um, to pass. And then at the end, it really gets to the point that if you do all those things, two plus two does equals four. And in business, guess what? Two plus two equals 16, equals two, equals one. Who knows? Because that's that's the thing about business. That's the thing about, you know, and and one thing that I've, that I've you know, noticed is that everything in business has also allowed me to, to understand how people react, how people are. And it's given me a lot of, the know-how, a lot of knowledge within, you know, people's behavior, uh, because at the end, you know, there's, there's certain patterns that, you know, either an employee or, or a customer or even, even your spouse, you know, and, and it's, it's allowed me to, to understand, to, to know more about life, um, to know more about myself as a man and, and, you know, what's needed, all the challenges that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis, um, all the constant audios that, that, you know, you have to pour within yourself because it's technically you're going to have a lot of people that are going to try to drain you. There, there's going to a lot of there's going to be a lot of people that um, that they're going to want something from you. And how do you replenish that? Well, when when you're going through the ups and the downs and the left and the rights, you have to submerge yourself. You have to have that why. And and going back, my why is my why it's, it was my will to survive. It's, it's my will to provide for my family, for my wife, and, and to give her all the things that you know she, she desires, to give the things to my kids that I never had. And um, you know, growing up, like I said, you know, it, it was very hard, it was very rough, tough, and, and but again, I feel like if, if we embrace that, then, then we could overcome a lot of, a lot of the obstacles that a lot of people kind of get stuck on. A lot of, you know, things that are going to happen and people are going to say things about you. Um, clients are going to say things about you. People are going to try to discredit you. Um, but if you know within your heart that what you're doing um, is the right thing, then keep fighting for that. Keep going, keep going hard at it. Um, you know, and again, replenish your, replenish your, 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 your thoughts and, and, and your feelings by, you know, obviously if you're a believer, um, you know, seeking um, you know, those powers that be or the universe or whatever you guys are into. But nevertheless, um, I'm constantly, you know, trying to get myself situated or at least try to get advice from the right individuals, people who actually do care for me and that center me, you know, my wife and my mother and, and things like that. Friends that really do care for me, my, my business partner, uh, Cynthia. So you need people like that that are looking out for your best interests. You know, there's, there's scripture that talks about, you know, you, you have to be planted, not on, not on sand, but on a rock. And um, so when things come through and when the wind comes by, it, you don't blow away. And um, for me, you know, also, um, you know, going into these books like Les Brown, the audios, and listening to Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, The Laws of Success, um, you know, Grant Cardone, Eric Thomas, you know, all of these motivational speakers that Tony Robbins, those things are important to me too. Uh, the, the constant, um, you know, seeking of, of, of better, of, of greatness, because that's really what it is. You have to be infatuated with what you want to do. And I, and I, and I think for me, you know, having a love for people, wanting to give people my best, which also within that, people are also going to take advantage. And, um, and you know what? 
it, it's, it, it, should never, it should never steer you away from your why. Uh, because guess what? Without those individuals or without those circumstances, there's no growth. There's no, advance, there's no advancement or there's no growth from success because you're already successful. You could only go up from failure. So, and failure to me is, is not even, it's not determined. It's, it's not something that's fixed. It's just temporary. And that's, that's up to you. That's up to you. Um, you know, going back to, to what holds you down. So, you know, from, from the business of, of going from, you know, those desks to coming over here. And now we're upstairs um, in the same building. And we have, we went from one office. We filled that up. It's my processing team now. It's, it's, a, it's a full, um, complete office with, with processors to, to having a, a sales office full with, with sales and um, staff and having a marketing office next to that one, then opening a, a, a six locations and just growing from it. You know, having a location in, in a different um, county in Orlando and, and, you know, developing those relationships, um, being able to offer white label services to people in different states working with customers from all over the United States. As a matter of fact, from all over the world. Um, people find us in Australia, people find us in Europe, and th those are people that lived here. And now they're, they're looking to come back and they wanna make sure that they're situated property to, to be able to you know reach people in those different places, in, in Alaska, California, New York, Puerto Rico. It's a blessing. It's a blessing that we have a service that we have the potential to impact all those individuals, to bring hope, um, because guess what? Credit is, it's frustrating, guys. Um, credit repair, uh, maintaining credit, financials are stressed. We know this, statistically, you know? Um, relationships, relationships fizzle out because of financial stress, because of financial situations. So for me to be able to bring peace of mind, for me to be able to help someone, to, to, to help someone to buy a home, to now that they, they're going to live there with their family to show that stability and they're going to be able to live there and and go to school and grow up and have memories that that's that that's that's warm to me you know that's i i love that i, I love i love what i do i'm passionate about what i do i'm never going to stop doing what i'm doing i'm going to continue to grow regardless of you know whatever ups and downs and obstacles we fit we're faced with um, I always tell my customers and I always tell you guys, you know, especially if you've spoken to me, I'm going to try to find out whatever I can to help you guys and, and whatever that means in a sense of either partnering up with, um, with other companies and, and, you know, or maybe talking to people who, you know, are seeking individuals that, that know more and, and potentially have worked for Equifax, uh, which I'm going through a process like that right now. And um, or, or maybe being a part of, of, a, of a group network that of professionals that or, or attorneys. And as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm bringing I'm bringing a friend of mine, uh, Daniel Tam, um, soon. You know, well, obviously, we're, we're going to partner up on a video to talk more about the collection process. But, you know, all of these things are important, guys. So, you know, this is this is the passion that I have. Um, I hope you guys obviously enjoyed this. I hope this motivates you for you guys out there that are looking to, you know, open up your own credit repair company, open up your own business. If you're going through a situation or a struggle, it's not the end. It's not over till you win. And the winning, you have to find that why. And you have to embrace that. Write that everywhere. Um, and, and create your vision board. Create your ideas. Always revisit your goals. Always, um, you know, enhance that. Um, always seek for more and um, and I'll see you guys at the top so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the love and support I hope you guys have a phenomenal um, you know end of the year holidays Christmas um, Thanksgiving so thank you so much for watching guys take care like subscribe and comment